There are big changes coming to the big new boat in 2025. Let's take a look. After a long run with Carnival Cruises and specifically with the Carnival Pride here of late, Bear Necessities is actually making a big change and they're moving over to Norwegian Cruise Lines for the 2025 cruise. The dates for this cruise are slated for the 3rd through the 14th of February. That's right, we are backing right up next to Valentine's Day as the end date. So keep in mind, the debarkation date is on Valentine's, so you need to plan for something other than the ship if you want to get a reservation. If you're good at math, you realize that that is an 11-day trip. That falls right between the 14 days of last year and the 7 days of this cruise. So hopefully that's a really good mix and it, it gives you long enough on board, but also gives those with jobs and kids and all that a chance to get on board and enjoy it as well. The ship destined to be the next big nude boat is none other than the Norwegian Pearl. This ship came into service in 2006 and just went into a refurb in 2021, so the ship itself should be in great shape. The ship is roughly the size of the Carnival Pride, give or take, uh, with, a, with a capacity of about 2,400 passengers. It does have more crew, topping 1,000, so maybe you'll see a little improvement in service. I don't know. The Pearl offers the same amenities you would expect with any major cruise line. A lot of eateries, a lot of activities, a spa, things like that. There are seven complimentary eateries as well as some specialty restaurants that cost a little bit extra that, that's there for your enjoyment. And if you're a night owl or an early bird, Ocean's Bar and Grill is open 24-7. The port of departure is changing from Tampa to Miami, so you know you got to go where the ship is, right? Uh, for those flying in, probably not going to make much of a difference. It's, it's pretty well located with the airport and such. Those that are driving in from other states, I'm sorry, you're going to add a few extra hours onto your trip time. Mm. My experience with the Miami port is very limited, but I got to say, when, it, when I did, it left a bad taste in my mouth. There was not nearly enough parking uh, for the ships that were in port and wound up parking several parking garages away, making a really long hike to get back to the vehicle. That's rough on that last day dragging back your bags down the road. Huh? But who knows, maybe they'll have it all straightened out by the time we sail. Let's hope, huh? There's a great port of call lineup for this trip. The first stop being the, the Great Stirrup Key in Bahamas. Uh, it's kind of a little private area for Norwegian and they have said that they are gonna make this clothing optional for this group uh, when you're there. Uh, going to San Juan, Puerto Rico, Phillipsburg, St. Martin, Rosa Dominica, uh, Port de France, Martinique, Castries, St. Lucia, and then making the trip back up and making another stop at Great Stirrup Key. So uh, a lot of great places to see. Uh, actually, that creates a little bit of a controversy on this trip in that uh, out of the 11 days, there's only going to be three sea days. So uh, people are balking a little bit that uh, they're not going to get to be nude as much as they want on the big nude boat. To help with this, they are making the Great Stirrup Key uh, private resort clothing optional both coming and going so you are getting those two days that should help take some of that sting out price wise this is how they stack up i've broken this down as a by day per person cost to normalize the numbers as the cruises are, are different durations so we can't just compare absolute price uh, so interior rooms on the pride were between 171 and 240 dollars a day per person uh, on the pearl they're going to be about 181 to 200 the balcony rooms on the Pride were 342 to 395, and the Pearl they're going to be 356 and up. The aft facing balcony rooms on the Pride were 446, and the Pearl they're about 500, so really close numbers there. And then uh, the suites, the suites on the Pride were from 742 to $1,200 a day per person, and they're going to be about 694 to 1510 on the Pearl. So actually a little bit higher overall, not a terrible increase. So overall, I'm going to miss the familiarity of the Carnival Pride. But with that said, I look forward to a new adventure on a new ship. Uh, get to new new people and, and kind of learn the new layout. That's always, that's always a fun time, right? Change is good. Uh, and while the price is going up, hopefully the, uh, the level of the experience goes up as well. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Because at the end of the day, this cruise offers an opportunity that you can't just find everywhere. So if you decide to take the change with Bear Necessities, over to Norwegian, maybe I'll see you on the ship. Until next time, happy cruising, and don't forget the sunscreen. The port, wait, wait. The port, mind, the disembarkation, or debarkation, the, so keep in mind, the debarkation date,
If you're good at math, you realize now that that is a 11 trip day. Wait, wait, what? Uh, Rosu, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ro, ray, Rose, Rosu. A chance to come together with 2,400 of your, of your favorite friends that you haven't maybe met yet. <laughs>